In the last video we found this Acura TSX and decided to take home the steering wheel for our junkyard Civic. Hello and welcome, my name is Kevin and if y'all are new here, welcome to the series where I build my car using only parts that I find at the junkyard. It's now day 7 of the build and so far we found some pretty cool stuff here at the junkyard. <laughs> this thing's crazy, it's like straight out of Need for Speed. If you guys ever played Need for Speed Underground 2, these taillights remind me of when you had to upgrade your car's looks in order to get on the magazine cover, so you would just upgrade anything and everything on the car. But anyways, check out what we just found here at the junkyard. We're looking at another 5th gen Honda Accord that the car gods bestowed upon us. And this one seems to be in pretty good condition. For how old the car is, nothing seems to be torn up like they usually are. But it seems like someone already got to this thing and picked off some parts to finish up their manual transmission swap. But as for us, we'll just be taking off a cool little part off of the front end of this thing. You guys know that I fitted on a rear lip from this same model onto our junkyard Civic. And now that I'm seeing this, I'm wondering if it'll work well on a Civic bumper. Alright, I'm not even sure if this is going to fit on my car, but we're just going to go ahead and take it off and I don't know, we'll test it out. And with that, let's go ahead and start and get to work. And as we take a look underneath the car, it's pretty much the same process as we did when taking off the rear lip. There's going to be 4 bolts to undo on both sides and the middle part is just held on by tabs. For YouTube. Oh, YouTube? Yeah. Uh, yeah, do videos. Yeah, yeah take care. <laughs> it's always an awkward conversation having to explain what I'm doing, why I'm recording. I don't know about you guys, but I always found junkyard videos to be pretty therapeutic. And it's also really fun just exploring junkyards yourself. It's kind of like a treasure hunt. Out here in the yard, you'll never know what kind of treasure you'll come across. But here we go guys, we got a nice little dress up item for our junkyard Civic. I'm thinking this will definitely add some style to our front end. And the best thing about it is it only cost us 10 bucks. Yo, this is actually pretty easy to take off. Just a couple bolts and you yank it off. Like I said before, I'm not even sure if this fits onto my Civic. If anything, I'll probably try to, you know, custom fit it on there. Might have to chop up a few pieces. But yeah, let's get this on. Y'all check this out. It's got a cute little Honda badge. Aww. Pretty sure these aren't OEM badges. I just thought it was funny, so I might as well take it home with me as a souvenir. Oh, and it's even got a second one. Oh, don't mind if I do. Oh, and I see why it was there. And like always, we gotta pray to the car gods for blessing us with our parts. And before leaving the yard, I happened to find the Civic EX that's the same year as mine. So I figured this would be the perfect chance to see if it fits on our front bumper before taking this thing home. Uh, it's not perfect, but it kind of matches. Yeah guys, I think we could make this work. And as we continue to explore the junkyard, we come across all types of builds like this. This thing's pretty sick. If I was building a Scion TC, I would definitely take parts off of this. Yeah, this car definitely has some personality but it's too bad that it had to end up here at the junkyard. Whoa, is this real carbon fiber? Oh, this thing's pretty lightweight. And as we take a look inside, to my surprise, this thing actually comes equipped with a manual transmission. I didn't even know that was an option for this car. Yeah, super sick. Let's go ahead and move on to our next junkyard find. Can anyone guess what this thing is? I've never seen one of these in person or even heard of it, but once I saw that front badge on the grill, I thought, no way, is this thing a freaking Datsun? And it turns out, this thing is a 200SX. That's a 200. Yeah, I used to have one of them. Really? It's a really good one. Spacious, good, you know? Uh-huh. I buy it with a lot of noise. Oh, and yeah. It's still running. And it looks like this thing was last registered in 1998. As you can tell from that door creak, this thing is freaking old. But yeah, man, what an awesome relic that we just came across. It seems like this was somebody's grandpa's most prized possession. 
you can tell that they took really good care of it because there's a bunch of Nissan boxes laying around in the car. And as you guys might already know, before the company decided to switch names, they were known as Dodson. And these little cars along with the Zs were actually pretty popular here in the west. Guys check out this old Nissan package that has some JDM instructions on the back. But yeah guys, I found it cool that this car was part of the S chassis. You know, those drift cars that we all know and love. And whoa, check out this dash setup. Definitely won't find things like this in today's cars. Looks like it came with stick shift, <clears throat> like all cars should. And a classic looking compass to know where you're going. There's so many random car parts laying around for this thing, I managed to find myself a cool little souvenir. Again, there's just so many random parts laying around for this car. It's kind of making me upset that this thing's here at a junkyard instead of an auction place. But this is definitely an awesome find if you're into vintage and classic cars. Looks like the owner had an extra front grill. I feel like this would be worth a lot of money. Yo, I think I actually want that steering wheel. Yeah, this thing's pretty cool. I bet it looked real nice in my 280ZX. But I wish it still had the Datsun symbol in the middle. Alright, so I got this off, but now I don't know how to take this off. Not quite sure how to take this off, but if any one of you guys do, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Anyways, I'm not going to waste any more time on this. Instead, let's go ahead and keep looking at some cool cars in the yard. Like this thing right here. Looks like it was someone's race car at one point. Well, well, well. What do we have here? <gasps> Is that an Integra? I need that. Once I put that in the yard, oh, I'm on that. <laughs> Alright folks, now we gotta figure out how to put this thing on the Civic. Yeah, I'm gonna just jack it up and then maybe just clamp it on and see how it looks first. I wasn't really expecting this to fit up 100%. Obviously it's a junkyard part, we gotta modify it. But yeah, let's get to it. So I guess there's two ways that you can do this. Either you can remove the bumper and install it while it's off the car, or you can just do what I do and jack the car up and install it right then and there. So on the Honda Accord, this front lip actually inserts right on top of the bumper where the front air dam is. But as you can see, I don't think it's going to be possible on our Civic bumper. So what I'm thinking is, I'll just install it from underneath. But this middle part is just a little bit too long and it's preventing the lip from being flush with the bumper. My solution to this is I'm going to bust out my Dremel and cut half of it off. And if you're also going to try this, make sure you don't cut off too much or else there'll be a gap between the lip and the bumper. And that's just no bueno. And because this front lip is a little bit longer than the Civic, you're going to want to cut off the ends to match the bumper line. So now that it's able to be flush with the bumper, let's go ahead and fit this up using some clamps and some vice grips. Alright, and here's what it sort of looks like. I just got it hanging here so I can figure out where to drill my holes. I'll basically be using the pre-existing holes on the front lip, but first of all, I'm just going to install some self-tapping screws to let me know where I should actually drill and install proper hardware. Now this lip doesn't 100% conform to the front bumper since on the bottom of the bumper, it's a little bit flared out. As you can see here, it's a little bit loosey-goosey, but I'm thinking once we install proper hardware, it should be able to sit flush somewhat decently. Right here, I'm getting rid of the rough edges that was left after cutting. I'm just using some sandpaper. And here's all the hardware that I'll be using for this setup. We're simply going to use some nuts and bolts with some washers in between. And as for the middle section, I picked up some bumper clips to see if this would work. Pretty much you'll just sandwich the front lip and the bumper together with this thing and then screw it in place. At least that was my idea. In the end, I didn't get to utilize these because they're just a little bit too small. But yeah, go ahead and bust out that drill and start making holes. And at this point of the install, you're kind of just laying there underneath your car thinking, why the hell did I get into this hobby? Tightening down a long ass bolt would definitely give you enough time to self-reflect on life. But yeah, here's those bumper clips that I was talking about earlier. 
I think these are a little bit too short, but this should be able to slide right in to where you can screw the lip in place. And real quick, I just need to cut this end off to match it with the bumper and we should be good to go. And bam, there we go guys, we got a Honda Accord lip fitted onto our Honda Civic. This thing looks so freaking fresh on the car. You know what? It kind of looks like the SI lip. And the fact that this is an OEM Honda lip, that makes it even better. Oh, and by the way guys, I did manage to fix the hood. As you can see, it's finally shut and aligned properly. But yeah, it was actually a pretty simple issue that I feel like is common in these old Hondas. And so the main culprit was specifically this thing right here. The latch itself somehow became loose and all you gotta do is just bend it back into place or just replace the whole thing entirely. But yeah, you can even see up here where it was hitting the hood. Yeah, well there you go guys. Fit it on an Accord lip onto a Honda Civic. Really, if you want a whole lip kit, you could just find a Honda Accord at a junkyard and just take the entire thing. I really do like how it looks on the Civic. Now, I was trying to find some fog lights for this thing, but um, the car that I was looking for, someone actually took them. Someone took the whole front bumper off of it. I was gonna try to find some TSX fog lights for this car, but it is what it is. So far, I just have a whole bunch of Accord <laughs> parts on this car. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I was expecting to do more with the front end, but we'll just leave it at the lip for now. Yeah, go ahead and let me know what y'all think of this. Because personally, I like it. Yeah. Also makes the car a little bit lower, so there's that. But again, like always, I appreciate y'all watching. Stay tuned for the next one. I'm going to do a big brake kit. But yeah, I'll see y'all.